And in Europe, stocks traded lower in the morning as doubts abound over whether the U.S. and China can strike a partial trade accord before the next tariff deadline on Sunday, December 15. Now, there are a couple of corporate news out there, and um, that's what um, Chelsea and I will shift our attention to. Chelsea, good afternoon. Well, Deutsche Bank is holding its first investor day in four years in Frankfurt today as it continues with plans to restructure and downsize. What are investors hoping to hear from the bank's executives? Investors are really looking for updates on how this restructuring is going. Uh, Deutsche Bank announced this restructuring program in, uh, in July, so it's about five months old. And the early signs that we've gotten from it over the past couple of months have not been uh, particularly optimistic. In the most recent quarter, they posted another loss. They posted two quarterly losses in a row. Most of their businesses saw declining revenue. Uh, so investors are have a little bit of angst coming into this meeting. But already today, uh, the CEO, Christian Saving, has um, reaffirmed the, uh, the company's profit uh, targets for the next couple of years and also the cost savings targets. And he's really um, speaking quite optimistically about how the business is going. Uh, they, they say they are on track to divest businesses ahead of schedule, uh, and particularly they're pointing to an increase in revenue in their fixed income business. Uh, so that's part of the investment bank. They're shrinking, but they're saying they're actually doing better than they had in previous quarters in that particular business. But they also are definitely acknowledging that it's a challenging environment, especially with interest rates so low here in Europe and the ECB uh, planning to remain in negative territory that's going to make it really difficult for Deutsche Bank's retail bank for its asset management business. Um, so I think investors are, are looking at this quite cautiously. Uh, over the past uh, five months since they announced this program, this shock, the stock has fallen about 10 percent. It's down about 1 percent today. So I think investors are going to want to see more evidence of an actual turnaround happening before uh, you can really expect a recovery in the, in the stock price. Now, the German bank is also reportedly planning to merge its retail banking unit into its uh, main corporate unit. Does this mean more job cuts are coming at the bank? Well, Deutsche Bank has already announced that it's planning to cut about 18,000 jobs as part of this restructuring. Um, but the, this plan to merge the retail bank with the broader corporate structure, it's not expected to lead to job cuts. However, there's still um, there. We don't have a lot of details about what that plan would be. We're expecting more information as part of this investor day today. But um, from what we can tell, most of those cost cuts would come from uh, sort of reducing overlap between these two structures. The the reason why the retail bank is its own separate structure is because about two decades ago, Deutsche Bank had a plan to spin it off uh, and list it publicly as a separate company. So they had sort of built this entire infrastructure for a new company, and they never ended up doing that. So it has basically its own administrative structure. It has its own board. It has its own uh, internal control systems, its own financial reports. That's all quite expensive and also uh, unnecessary. So they say that by combining these uh, structures, they can save 100 million euros a year without cutting jobs. But um, this is still going to be part of, of a much broader um, restructuring program that's supposed to cut about 6 billion euros in costs for Deutsche Bank over the next couple of years, including many job cuts. Well, another German company out there on the wires is Volkswagen. The company is facing new charges of violating Canada's Environmental Protection Act over diesel engine emissions. What could this latest legal setback mean for the company? So Volkswagen is facing continued investigations around the world. I think this Canadian, um, this Canadian case is really just a reminder that Volkswagen really isn't out of the woods on the emission scandal. Even four years later, this really um, continues to be a hindrance for them and, and for their business. Um, they are expected to be in court on Friday in Canada. Um, they've said that they have reached a plea, uh, a plea deal in Canada. So. Uh, in terms of fines and um, things like that, it's not clear what they could be facing in Canada. And 
other jurisdictions, they've already paid out about 30 billion euros in fines and um, uh, compensation for, for victims. But um, there have been really a string of, of reports over the past couple of, of months about cases that Volkswagen is still facing. So uh, just recently in, in Germany, they had their office raided uh, again as part of an emissions scandal investigation. So um, I think the, the largest penalties are probably behind Volkswagen at this point, but it's still a, a big operational uh, risk to the company as they are dealing with these other changes here in Europe, such as uh, new emissions trading, emissions standards and things like that. They still have a lot to focus on with the emissions, um, the diesel engine scandal. All right, Chelsea, let's leave it at that at the moment. Enjoy the rest of the day.